Sometimes the truth hurts. Many of us could stand to lose a few pounds. Well, today a doctor from the Centers for Disease Control came to Portsmouth. That city is now ranked one of the healthiest cities in Virginia with some ideas to help. Tony, your side, Stephanie Harris, talk with him. And Stephanie, some of those ideas may not go over too well with a lot of people, huh? Yeah, actually, Alveda, Portsmouth is one of the least healthiest cities in Virginia. And as you were saying, we've got some ideas now for change for the CDC. Nobody likes change, right? But something's got to give. The state records show the rates of heart disease, diabetes, and cancer are significantly higher in Portsmouth than the rest of Virginia. But other cities, you should pay attention to because Everyone has a big problem with obesity, and that contributes to all of those diseases. How do we go from this to this? A good start may be going from this to this. It's called a complete street. It includes designated spaces for cars, bicycles, and pedestrians. And the CDC's director for adult and community health highly recommends them for Hampton Roads. We want to make sure that people can walk, that they can bike when appropriate, that they can use mass transit. That's right. Dr. Wayne Giles advises expanding the tide to decrease our waistlines and adding more sidewalks. Of course, it's one thing adding sidewalks to an intersection or a bike path along the water as Portsmouth has in Port Norfolk. It's quite another to do it through someone's front yard. I would really object to that. It could cost homeowners like Kathleen Stenica a chunk of land and new constructions a chunk of change. I checked with Tidewater Builders Association and found it cost $1,500 per lot to put in a sidewalk. How we actually bring about change in, in Portsmouth is through policy systems and environmental changes. Cities can require sidewalks in new neighborhoods and make healthy foods more accessible by helping farmers market set up shop. Here's what else the doctor ordered, more physical activity and less junk food in school. The challenge will be taking the advice from the conference room to the community. I wouldn't really mind too much when I think about it. They can only hope everyone will come around. Because I am a walker and uh, it gets very kind of stumbly at times. As quickly as Kathleen Stenica. Now, if you want to make a change right now, give this a try. Instead of, say, emailing your coworkers, get up from your desk and walk over to theirs. The doctor says over time, just that little bit of moving can really add up. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.